Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of The Golf Nerd. I'm pleased to announce that I'm doing an in-depth series of reviews on training aids. This seems like a great time to review such products as the season is rapidly winding down and many of us are looking at ways to get better for next season. Like many of you, I've tried many different training aids during my golfing career, and there's nothing more disappointing than finding out that a slick-looking, well-marketed product is not worth the money. So in this series of videos, I'm hoping to provide you some honest feedback about these products and let you know whether you should consider parting with your hard-earned money for one of these offerings. The first product I'll be reviewing is the Pell's Putting Tutor, which I will link to in the description below. If you aren't familiar, Dave Pels is widely considered to be a short game expert. He's been studying and analyzing golf for decades and has furthered the game of golf through his impressive career. In fact, you may not know this, but Mr. Pels was the original designer of the two ball putter. This is arguably one of the most successful and iconic putter designs in the game of golf. Suffice it to say, I was eager to try out the putting tutor and started using it as soon as it arrived. The device is very simple to use. On the underneath side, there is a small pin that allows you to place the device securely on a practice green or home practice turf. Once secured, it has a very visible line running down the center line that allows you to precisely aim the device on the intended line. There is a small cradle that holds the ball in place on one end of the product, so it is very simple to prepare for use. On the ball end, it also provides a straight edge that allows you to square your putter face to the intended line. This physical hard stop is a great way of feeling what a square putter feels like and was an unexpected but pleasant surprise in my testing. The clearly marked center line has a small groove that helps to keep the ball on line, but it is not overdone and can be easily knocked off line by a pushed or pulled putt. Finally, there are a series of gates at the end of the device that allow you to judge your effectiveness at starting the ball on your intended line. There are three gate settings and these are set up by placing a ball bearing on either side of the line. Given the three different widths, you can increase the challenge of maintaining the line to the final most challenging position. Let me tell you, this last gate is really tight. So now we've described the product, let's review the build quality. The product comes with a carrying case and is definitely compact enough that you can throw it into your bag for practice. The case is effective and has a separate pocket to keep your ball bearings from getting lost, which is a good idea. Additionally, there are three elastic bands which hold the tutor in place in the case. The tutor itself seems solid, is well marked, and I really like the detents and grooves to make setup easier. I find it to be very well thought out and effective. Finally, the product is plastic, but it doesn't come off as cheap but rather a cost-conscious effort at providing a valuable tool that doesn't have to be overly expensive. In order to test this product, I set it up on my birdie ball putting mat and used a laser to align it directly at one of the cutout holes. Because the device has the one pin securing it to the turf, I did find that the device could rotate slightly, so I like to keep the laser on to ensure that the device was aligned to my intended target. I started with the ball bearing at the widest gate setting and found this to be too forgiving for my stroke. So I quickly went to the middle setting. What I found was I could start the putt online about 75% of the time, but my typical push would rear its ugly head the rest of the time. The feedback was immediate and really allowed me to focus on getting the ball started more online. Next I noticed that since I knew this product was aligned to my intended target, if I did pass through the starting gate, I could really discern whether I was putting draw or cut spin on the ball based on the way it finished out towards the hole. This is where I believe training aids in general can either be really helpful or hurtful. What I mean by this is, a training aid will prompt you through a period of self-discovery, where you will go through a process of problem solving the result that you're unhappy with. In my case, I had to continue to work through slight changes in my setup, feels, and stroke to find a result that was most able to not only start the ball online, but rolled on target, or at the very least, minimized how off-target the result was. In this way, I found the putting tutor to be immensely helpful. I played around in some frigid conditions several hours after working with the putting tutor, and I saw what I would classify as an improved result on the course. I certainly didn't make every putt I was looking at, but my misses were much closer to the hole, and I believe just one session of working with the tutor helped me to accomplish this. So after having reviewed the design, the build quality, the testing, and the results, 
I have to say I'm a fan of this device. If I had one complaint, it would be I wish they would add another pin on the bottom so it wouldn't spin when you place your putter leading edge up against the putting tutor. But this is a fairly minor gripe on an effective and very intuitive tool. So if you're wanting to work on putter alignment, starting the ball online and improving your ability to see and test that line with confidence, I would recommend this product as helping in all of these areas. As always, if you have any questions regarding this product, please comment below as I respond to every comment. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow the Training Aid series, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Well, that's it from the Golf Nerd. Hit them long and straight, and I'll see you next time.